we can use bond duration to estimate the change in the value of a bond. What do we know? Well, we know that a bond's value is very sensitive to interest rate changes. We also know that bond duration is a measure of a bond's price sensitivity to interest rate changes. So this formula can be used. We can use bond duration to estimate the percentage that a bond's price will change when interest rates change. In this formula, P represents price. The Greek letter delta means change. Therefore, delta P simply means the change in price. Well, if we divide the change in price by the price, this gives us the percentage price change. In our formula, D is the bond's duration. Note the negative sign in front of duration. The market interest rate or yield is denoted by Y. So in the numerator, we've got delta Y, which is the change in yield. In the denominator, we have 1 plus our initial yield. York Industries has an outstanding bond issue with the following characteristics. $1,000 par, 8% coupon rate paid annually with 20 years to maturity. The bond is priced to yield 11%. The duration of this bond is 9.33 years. Use modified duration to estimate the percentage change if the yield increases to 12%. Well, let's write down our formula. Delta P divided by P equals negative D times the change in yield over 1 plus the yield. We were given that this bond has a duration of 9.33. So we will write negative sign 9.33. Now in the numerator we have to put the change in the yield. The yield is going to change from 11% to 12%. So that's 1% change and it's positive. In the denominator, I've got 1 plus my original yield. When we multiply this, we're going to get a negative 0 0.08405. So what is the estimated price change? We estimate that the price will fall in value by approximately 8.4%. Let's consider another example, this time in which the interest rate falls. Spring Stube Sockets bonds are selling for $980. The bonds have a duration equal to 7.5 years. The bonds are priced to yield 5%. Assume that the interest rate decreases by 50 basis points. What is the estimated value of the bond? Start with our formula. Delta P over P equals minus duration times the change in Y divided by 1 plus Y. Okay, Our duration is 7.5, so we put negative sign 7.5. In our numerator, we need the change in yield. This time, the yield declines by 50 basis points. It's going to drop from 5% to 4.5%. So in our numerator, it's going to be a negative value, and it's 0 0.005, representing one half of 1%. In the denominator, we have 1 plus the original yield. When we multiply a negative times a negative, we're going to get a positive value, aren't we? And so we get positive 0 0.03. Five, seven. So, if the yield falls from 5% to 4.5%, we would estimate that the bond is going to increase in value by 3.57%. The question says, what is the estimated value of the bond? The bond is currently selling for $980. If we are, in fact, correct that the bond will increase by 3.57%, we can multiply the bond value 980 by 
1-800-227-0357, giving us an estimated bond value of $1,014.99. So what are the key points about duration? Well, first, we should know that there are two approaches to calculating Macaulay duration. This one is the preferred method. Second, we need to know that bond duration may be interpreted as a time-weighted payback. It's a tool used to measure the sensitivity of a bond's price to interest rate changes. And there are three variables in the formula that are used to determine bond duration. They are the coupon rate, the yield to maturity, and the time to maturity. We also know that a bond's value will change whenever the interest rate changes. This important formula helps us to estimate the percentage change in the value of a bond by using Macaulay duration.